Hey Fly Tires, welcome back. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by the channel. Now this next pattern is another one from our Ringneck Pheasant Skin Series. This one comes from Michael Rollins of West Virginia. Now like many of us, Michael's been fishing pretty much his whole life, but he's really just now getting into fly fishing. He tells me the story, he's got a teenage daughter, and she was fishing on the New River in West Virginia this past summer, and she found an abandoned fly rod. With nobody around claiming it, she brought it back home. Now Michael has it and says, okay, I gotta learn to fly fish. And if I'm gonna learn to fly fish, maybe I need to learn to tie flies too. So that's how he found the channel. He's been watching pretty much every video since the summer. So Michael volunteers for the Ringneck Pheasant Skin Series. We've emailed a few times back and forth. He's got a few crazy ideas out there, but I think he came up with a pretty cool one for this one. He's calling this the Elverton Fat Daddy. So Elverton is just a community he lives in in West Virginia. And Fat Daddy was because when we kind of started with this, it was a little bit of a fat bodied nymph. Now it's gone through a few iterations. It's gotten a little bit thinner as we've gone back and forth and, and thought about the design. But for the most part, it's just a generic nymph. I'd say it's got the profile of a mayfly imitation. Tied a little bigger, it could go for a stonefly. But the coolest feature on this thing is the bright yellow body with a red thread rib. And that the only feathers in it are from the ringneck pheasant skin. So I think Michael came up with a pretty cool design. I think you're gonna like it. Let's give it a shot. So there it is. Michael Rollins, Elverton Fat Daddy. Pretty nifty looking nymph. Now I'm tying this on a size 12. It's a 1X long, 1X strong, standard wet fly hook. And I'm gonna put down, oh, about 12 wraps or so of 015 weight. I'm gonna take some black 70 denier UTC put a dam right behind it, take it up over the front, put a dam up front, and then bring it back to the tail. Now for the tail, this is the coolest thing I think about this nymph. You've got this one feather and you're using it for three parts of the fly. It's one right under the church window feathers. It's got that bluish silver metallic on it. So for the tail, we're gonna use the tips for the legs. On the tail, just pull out about six or eight of these fibers right here, and then try to pull them out with the tips still being even if you can. Okay, that right there, and then maybe a hook gap. couple of turns to lock that in. I think that's gonna be fine right there. Go ahead and bury it up to the weight. Let's snip this off. Now we do have a rib on this. You saw that big fancy red rib. I'm using just a 210 denier thread. You could use a, a floss, that would be about the same diameter. So I'm gonna catch this in about right there but I want want it to be coming off the bottom so see how I'm pulling that down right there before I catch it in all the way to the back that way my first wrap it won't look like it's coming out of nowhere on the side it's kind of coming out of the bottom now for the dubbing it's a bright yellow if you got bright yellow rabbit I think that would look pretty cool I did not so I'm using a synthetic just a an acrylic mix that I make here Pretty bright stuff like this right here. And I'm gonna put it on here fairly thin. You can build up a tapered, tapered body if you want. You can really build it as fat as you want. It is called a fat daddy. But I tied a couple of them and I think it looked better just a little bit thinner. But this yellow thread, or yellow dubbing on black thread, you do have to be a little bit careful so the thread doesn't show through too much. And it might take you a couple of applications to get it on, so I'm taking two wraps there and I'm gonna put one wrap right behind the thread there. Now, after you're catching your dubbing in, you might wanna spin it a little bit tighter if you need to. But we're gonna dub this body pretty much up to the, the front of this weight.
Okay, I think that'll be fine. It's a little bit buggy looking, but that's kind of what we want. So I'm going to counter wrap this red rib. Just evenly spaced coming on up and fairly close together. I want a lot of red showing in this thing. Okay, go ahead and catch your red off with two or three tight wraps right here. I might want to smooth this out. I've still got a little step down between that weight and the front of that hook. It'll just make the thorax a little bit easier. So for the wing case, it would be nice if we could use that same feather. That way we could have used four different components on this fly from that one feather, but they really weren't long enough. So I'm gonna take a good 15 or so of these from one of the brown feathers on this ring neck pheasant. Pretty thin stuff, but it's only a wisp of a, a wing case. So I'm gonna just catch this in right here and I'm gonna end up snipping some of that front off. So don't worry about that. Just make sure you've got it coming off the top of the fly there. And when you get it caught in pretty well, go ahead and snip off this excess. Try to do that without pulling them out. I'm just gonna bury these a little bit, try to keep this smooth right here. Now here's an interesting concept. Michael used the schlappen from this as a dubbing on the thorax, and it's a pretty cool idea. You could use hair's mask if you wanted it a little bit buggier on the thorax, but I thought this looked pretty cool. So just take this feather right here, the base of it, and then just pull out little, little wisps like this, and then kind of touch dub them on here. And get them, you know, it's gonna be kind of buggy, but you want them a little bit thick. So you can build up a thick thorax right here, maybe a, a three inch or so noodle. Let's see how that's gonna work. Let's do a little bit more. But it does give it that cool, darker color, which won't necessarily be as dark when it's wet. So let's just build this nice, big, fat kind of thorax right here. I think that's gonna look pretty good. And take your thread right back up behind the eye where we're gonna tie in the legs. So remember this feather we had right here? Pull everything back, pull everything off, and then leave. You've got that right there now, and we're gonna cut out a V notch in it. Okay, now you're left with something like this. You just wanna lay it down on the sides of this, and don't worry about the length at first. We will shorten it when we, you know, get a couple wraps in here. So I'm putting a loose wrap, actually two loose wraps, and then I will adjust it. Got to leave a little room for the head there. Maybe a, a tighter wrap, but not real tight because we still need to pull those legs shorter. See, they, I like the position, but they need to be shorter. So don't, don't grab your, the uh, wing case. Just pull this a little bit forward, maybe half the length of these legs. Okay, I think that's gonna be fine. And we'll be able to use that wing case to kind of position them. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock this down right here. A Couple of tight wraps there. Let's snip off this excess. Now, grab the, the wing case and just make sure you grab all of them. Pull them over. That's gonna be our wing case right there. I'm gonna to have to wrap this with my opposite hand, but no big deal. We do that on a lot of flies. So one wrap there, I think that's in the right position. So I'm gonna put my second wrap and pull it down pretty tight, take a look at it. That wing case looks fine. So another really tight wrap right there before I snip this off. Now we can just clean up the head. 
So push it back if you need to with your bodkin or fingernail. And now take your thread right back up behind the eye and build this little ramp to whatever size head you like. I kind of like a bigger head on my nymphs, but uh, not everybody does. So a little bit bigger than this for me. Okay, I think that's going to be fine. Let's put a whip finish on this guy. On the Elberton Fat Daddy. You take a look at it from all angles, see if we've got any cleanup to do. Now you might want to trim a little bit of that yellow dubbing, but I'm not going to. I kind of like it fuzzy. And I like those legs right there. They kind of match that tail. Overall, it's a pretty cool looking pattern. So I think Michael did a pretty good job designing this. So that's it, my friends. I appreciate y'all watching. You take care and we'll see you next time.